My name is Madden Parker, and today I'm here with Mrs. Cathley, who is the current art teacher, and she's orchestrated the whole showcase that's going on in the library. So, why did you start this art showcase? Um, we started to showcase some student artwork. We wanted um, the public to be able to see their artwork and um, for them to have something to work towards for the end of the semester. How long have you been doing that showcase? Um, we started last spring, and we started in our classroom, and we have moved it to the library this year, and we hope to get bigger each year. So it's pretty fresh, I should say. Yes, new yes, idea. it's a new idea. Okay, and what is your favorite part about this whole thing? Um, my favorite part is that we get to bring the community members together. We get to, um, people get to see the artwork, and students can showcase their work. Okay, well, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with... Kaden Moss. And I'm going to ask him some quick questions about his artwork. So what was your inspiration behind your artwork? Uh, a lot of the inspiration for my artwork comes from my like thoughts and emotions and feelings during the time of creating them. And how long did your artwork take you? Uh, most of my projects usually take between one and three weeks. And lastly, what's your favorite part of your artwork? My favorite part of my artwork is seeing it all come together, like the process of that from start to finish. All right, thank and you. Uh, what is your piece, or like how would you describe your piece that, piece that you did? piece that I did, it was a pan, and it was all like, it had overgrown flowers, leaves, there was purpose cracks in it. So I went for more of like an, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like forgotten, abandoned, like overgrown with nature kind of vibe. Okay, what helped you come up with your idea or what inspired you to make it? Um, like the inspired, okay, this is really stupid, but TikTok, like those videos of like, like old like famous famous houses that are like cartoon things like Spongebob's Pineapple or the Mystery Machine it's all like worn out, decrepit and I was like, you know what, let's make a pan but it's broken. Alright, what was your process of making your piece? Okay, the process of making it was just thinking of a basic idea of what I wanted to do and then I grabbed the amount of about a pound of clay, I threw it on the pottery wheel and I made a cylinder, like a flat, really flat and wide and after I took it off, I just kind of like pushed it in to make it pan shaped. I made a handle, put that on, made a cover, put that on. And after that was all baked, I glazed it with some pretty paints, baked it again, and now it's a shiny silver pan. Okay, what is your favorite part of making your piece? My favorite part of making my piece would probably be glazing it because it's basically painting. And then when it turns out it's done, What's nice about glazes is that some of them, like, it might look blue, but it's, like, gold or something. So it's kind of interesting just grabbing random glazes, and then you'll just see how it turns out after it's done. All right. Thank you so okay, much. This is Brent Lang. I'm going to ask you a series of questions about the art show. Yeah. So what, what, is, uh, what is your favorite thing about the art show? Um, I like how unique it is and how there's, like, a different variety of, like, all different sorts of art, like the paintings and then there's, like people created stuff and whatever else, you know. Okay, so Brent, what's your favorite part of this art, piece of art show? My favorite piece is this painting and this woodwork that is done by Madison Spedberg, just because I think it's all just very aesthetically pleasing and like pleasant to the eye, you know? Okay, thank you. I'm Amy Christine, we're in our here with Isabel Thompson. What is your favorite part about the art showcase? Um, I like looking at all the creativity throughout the artwork and just seeing what everybody does in art. Why do you think this is a great activity for the school? Um, I think it's a great activity for the school because you can show up, you can see everyone's personality throughout the artwork and you can see how hard the art students work throughout the